All right, so I've always wanted one of these. We're going to see if I end up keeping this. This is one of probably the most expensive one that was on Amazon. You guys are about to see. I'm surprised they don't put anything on the outside of the packaging other than the, I guess that's their brand name. And the box is just black. So you open it up and it looks like this. You turn the flash on. All right, it tells you what to do. All right, make sure to wipe your balls. <laughs> There's a spare one in case you break it somehow. All right, open the packaging. Take out the corner plate on the top of the product. Okay, make sure to take out the sponges. It says to take them out at the same time. Okay. A wiping cloth and spare ball in the package. All right. Because most people don't read this, I'm just doing this. All right. Take out the product. All right. Take the balls out with one hand and put it in the other hand. So you kind of have to keep holding it. They actually have a video doing this. Okay, you have to handle them lightly. I don't know if my cat's gonna screw it up, so I need to be careful. Maybe I have to put the box over it to protect it. All right, and you put the balls on the hand. So <laughs> put the balls in your hand, All right? Then you take out the foam support and sponge. Okay, put down the balls one by one and carefully. Um, okay, so I guess the strings are probably fragile. After removing the wrapping paper, um, then you wipe each one with the cloth. There's poly powder on them, and if you don't wipe them, then they won't um, bounce. Um, they won't, uh, what do you call? They won't go for as long. All right, so when you open it, it looks like this inside. I'm a little worried this thing got dented. Hopefully it's okay. Okay, th I thought one string was missing, but it's in there. It looks okay. So I guess the first thing you do is you take out this. Um, let me wash my hands real quick just so I don't get like so much oily grease on it. All right, I'll be back in a bit. All right, let's continue with the unboxing. Let's pull this foam out. I'm gonna put it in the Amazon box just so it doesn't get dirty. I mean, I did just vacuum over this area just to be safe. So it has this nice foam padding on both sides, all right. Once you get that out, we're gonna carefully lift this out. So I'm gonna hold here and just pull this up. It's really heavy. This one, I think they said it's like granite or marble on the bottom. Yeah, marble. Okay, Oop. so it comes with this cloth here. I might have to put it down to be able to carry this. So let's put this here. I'm gonna move the box aside. It comes like that, okay. Foam. I'm putting the foam back in the box just for easier. All right, let's set this aside. Okay. All right, let's zoom out so you guys can see. Okay, so it comes like this. I'm going to lift the foam from the top out. Okay. Then you got this here. Uh, more instructions. So it's the same things. So you're welcome to just skip over. Uh, most people don't really care for all this stuff but I'm gonna show it anyways so I'm gonna oh it's hard to see let me zoom in there you go okay I'll let you guys you can read that on your own I'm gonna pause the video after I record it and then I'm gonna read it myself I mean I already watched the video you just pull them out and then wipe them down okay I'll be back in a bit all right, so I'm back, read all that stuff. All right, so now we're gonna take it apart. I'm gonna do it like how they had in one of their videos. Let's zoom out a bit, there we go. So basically what you do, you can kind of grab these wires here, all right? And then you can pull the ball out and then you kind of just hold underneath. Um, to make it easier, I'm gonna take this bottom foam out. Okay, just like that, so I can drop this down. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and lift each one out just like this and kind of hold it as you kind of lift them out. All right, just like this. All right, hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. It's hard to kind of get a good angle of this, but basically we're just lifting them all out slowly 
one by one. Okay, I'm running out of room in my hand, so we're going to slide this over. You want to be careful with these wires. It comes with a spare one if you accidentally damage it. Um, and the way it tells you how to replace it is you basically have to flip it upside down. All right, let's move this foam out of the way and slowly drop these down. Okay, so they're in there. There's the extra one that it comes with. Okay, I'm gonna put this stored in the box. Again, I like to just show everything. I know a lot of people don't care for that, but sometimes there's some rare cases where people are like, well, how do I put it back in the box because I wanna return it or something? So this is why I kind of record this whole process. If you end up needing any of that, then you got all this information here. So there's the extra fishing line. All right, so they hold them into place with rubber stoppers. So I'm gonna close this now. So it tells you to, to replace them. Uh, you have to flip the thing upside down and then use a small needle like 1.5 millimeter or something and you push the rubber out. You have to actually flip this upside down. So this is the marble, as you can see. Okay, now we're going to unwrap each one and then wipe them with the cloth. Okay, so we got the cloth here. All right, so let's see if I can do this. My arm is still, or shoulder's a little sore still from when it broke. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. I'll show one of them and then, I mean, you get the idea, but basically just unwrap it. Okay, comes out like that. So they have both pieces, they wrap it up and then just do that. Okay, so we're gonna clean each one. Just like this, all right. Don't forget to clean your balls. Okay, so I'm gonna hold this one out of the way while I unwrap the second one. Okay, I'm gonna take that paper off, and then we're gonna go ahead and wrap and clean the second one. Just like that. Okay, be careful not to pull the wires too long. They say this one should continue um, going for um, at least uh, 50 seconds, and they actually guarantee if it doesn't go more than 50 seconds that they will refund your money that's what they say um i mean if they're that confident then it should do it all right i've seen other i watched other videos for for these things and they don't really go for that long so this one um apparently is probably one of the best okay all right you're welcome to just fast forward to the end to see how it goes again um i do this it's not for everybody. Not everybody cares to see all this part. But uh, for the people that do want to see it, that's why it's there. Okay, clean it up. So it's already going. I kind of wanted to do some experiments with these that I haven't seen people do. Like if you were to somehow attach two of the balls together so that they can't um, split. If you drop one, is it still going to make both of them bounce off or is it going to be... I'm just going to use like some double stick adhesive, nothing permanent. I don't want to use like glue or anything. And we'll see if that works. Um, basically these things, people call it like conservation of momentum or something. But it's also a little different because even if you conserve momentum, like if you were to drop one of them and it hits like what's why is it stopping like all of them from just going a little bit out and people explained it that it's kind of more like a spring to where when they hit it kind of rebounds um but really i mean that we should i should get like a super slow mo of this i'll probably try and do a super slow motion video capture and see if you can actually see it but uh basically what happens um so let's see if I can show. Okay, it's already, even after cleaning, there's like all this dust here. So let's clean all of this out. Okay. All right. So basically what happens when you hit one, it hits that. And then the, it forms a micro gap 
So what happens is this one bounces, it hits that, and then it bounces back. Then this one hits that and bounces back. And it follows that whole trail until it reaches the last one. So same thing when you do two. It hits, and then it's kind of like it hits twice kind of thing. At least that's what I think. So I'm going to try in super slow-mo and see what happens. But let's see this first. I'm going to see how long this goes. They said 50 seconds. Let's see if that's correct. So I'm going to swing it all the way up to here. I don't know if it, if I can swing it all the way higher or if that's going to cause problems, but we'll try and do it like almost 90 degrees and go. Now that makes it like bounce too much, I guess. I shouldn't do that, but we'll see how long it goes. Actually, let me see how long the recording is at right now. I'm going to hold up my phone so you can see like an upper view. Oops. Okay, so I'm going to start it in when it's 10.50 and go. Let's see if it goes all the way until 11.50. My cat's like staring at it. <laughs> I would have thought it would have like kept going further out longer, but... Oh. Don't touch it. My cat's getting closer. already slowing down a lot I'm worried she's gonna break no 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 don't touch it okay it's like just barely hitting 50 seconds or a minute I guess actually that was about a minute and then it's still going but slow okay so um, apparently some people didn't know you can actually like do multiple at once so let's go ahead and pull two up okay and there you go it does two two okay let's do three all right let's see if this goes for 50 seconds so if it goes until one um, is it 13 minutes and five seconds? It's not gonna happen. It works with one, but not if you do multiple. It looks like it's slowing down too much. Oh, my cat's gonna mess with it, I think. She's like lifting her paw, getting ready to like smack it. Or maybe run away, I don't know. Yeah, if you do multiple, it looks like it doesn't work as long. No, don't do that. Okay, let's see if I can. And then you can also do stuff like this. So if I grab two of them, uh, let's get a better view here. I'm going to move it over. So let's see, I grab. No, don't do that. Hey, stop it. So if you grab two and they keep bouncing like that. And then it goes all crazy. <laughs> All right, and let's do two at a time. Other fun stuff you can do is like, let's like do two here and one here. And you see the two and the one switch places. I'm going to have to do this in slow-mo and then stitch it all together. But you can see how it does like that kind of stuff. Like do three and one. Which is places, oh, then it gets out of alignment and they all start smacking each other. But anyways, alright, we're going to do one more. I'll try my experiment when I tape it and see what happens. Okay, I'm going to go get some double-sided tape and we'll be back. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to get a piece of this acrylic double-sided tape. I like this tape, it doesn't leave residue behind, so we're going to... See what happens if I attach two of them together. All right. I don't know if the tape will be strong enough. It might still release. So let's see what happens. I'm going to, I don't know if you'll be able to see. I'm going to pull one aside. Oops. Yeah, it's hard to get an angle because my hand won't. Let's see. I'll do it this way. Okay, so we're going to stick one in here. The adhesive there. Okay, All right. It lines up. I'm going to peel off the coating, if 
I can. There we go. All right, let's stick these two together. Let's see, there we go. So now you can see they're stuck together. If I pull this back, you can see both of them going at the same time. <laughs> Ooh, it makes it not react as well. It starts just swinging really bad. Okay, so let's grab this and we'll do one. <laughs> it messes up the whole pattern. Okay, if we do two, is it gonna keep it the pattern okay? Still kind of goes crazy. So the tape really messes up the whole thing. I mean, I would, I guess because it doesn't impact as well. So we're gonna separate it. All right, I guess that doesn't work too well. So let's go ahead and do the one again. Make sure it lasts the full minute again. All right. Ready and go. already all messed up let me see if I can fix this by okay so I'm gonna try and fix it so it's not swinging all over the place like before there we go okay and we're gonna start at the 20 go oh, it kind of forms that gap in the middle that kind of makes it get messed up Anyways, let's see if it goes to 17 minutes and 20 seconds, and then we're going to do a slow-mo so you can kind of see it, what happens. Alright, looks like it definitely goes the full... 20 sec or minute it just goes really slow at the end definitely does the 50 seconds okay that's the 50 seconds it's kind of calming down a little bit so it definitely lasts like a full minute so at the end it's really slow let's try cleaning this up a little bit and see if I if that's will help a little bit all right now i'm gonna do slow motion so i'm gonna switch to that and i'll see you guys in a bit all right bye
Okay, and now we're going to do super slow motion. All right, let's look at it. Okay, so these super slow-mo clips don't actually have audio with them, but I thought it was nice because you can actually see how the force transfers from one ball to the next. So enjoy, and I'll explain more as I get to the other clips. Alright, so these next super slow-mo clips are all going to be from above. Um, I did different patterns, so this I'm just doing one ball at a time. And you can actually see how the force goes from one ball to the next. It basically will hit the next ball, and then that next ball will hit the other. Um, the gaps make it more clear what's happening. Um, and this is how it knows how many um, to shoot out the other side. So since one is kind of going with all the force, it just shoots out one like that. All right. So here I do two at a time. You can see there's like a gap between the two. So these gaps form, they're like very small. Um, sometimes you can't even see the gaps too well. But basically what happens is the first ball that's closest will hit the next and it'll continue that shock wave down the line and then the one following behind will hit that one and then it'll send that shock wave down the line and that's how it knows um, it sends two uh, on the um, rebound. So here I do three and you can see again the same thing. Basically the three balls that are coming out they form like tiny gaps it's kinda hard to see and that's basically how it shoots out like the same three out the other side. All right, of course then I do four here, but then they collide funny. So the strings, um, because they don't stay fully straight down, um, mainly because the weight of the balls or the gravity can't pull it fast enough to keep it from swinging side to side. So if you don't get them lined up just right to hit straight on, then they start going all crazy and swinging all over the place. So here I do four again, and you can see how the four come flying in, right? And then they basically transfer the four again. The one that's coming out in front that hits first will transfer the ball to the last ball in line. Then the one right behind it will continue the same thing, and that's how it transfers that the four will go, and then it'll swing back with the other four, and same thing. Since the fourth ball doesn't have a way to hit the other ball, it just continues through, and that's why it sends four, um, four through. All right, and here's with five, same thing, All right? Basically, the shock wave passes through the um, three balls in front, shoots out the two, and then the three other balls that are swinging just continue swinging through, and that's basically how the momentum passes through. Right, same thing with six. And of course I had to throw in this clip of all seven balls at a time. <laughs> All 
So here I do different patterns where I pulled the two outermost ones um, at the same time. And you can see how they kind of bounce and then transfer all the force back. And since they're like not going at exactly the same time, it's nice because you can actually see how the force is being transferred from one ball to the next. It's pretty cool. I think here I tried doing two on either side at the same time. And again, the strings, um, since they didn't go completely straight in line, then it went all crazy. Right here you can see I did three and two and you can see how the force transfers and it switches sides three from the left then two to the right and then it switches back and forth. Alright, so here you can see I did three at a time on either side. And you can see how the little gaps cause it to bounce and you see the force transfer. It's not like an exact um, equal bounce bounce right away. So you can actually see the middle one get pushed to one side and then back. So here I did four and three, and you can see how the force transfers to the other side. Alright, and now let's go back to recording in real time. Alright, so now let's do some different ones. So let's say, let's do like two and two. I did these in super slow-mo, but let's go. Two and two. Alright. Let's try three and two. So cool. Let's do three and three. <laughs> Let's try one and four. Stop bouncing. All right, let's go. <laughs> Get some change places. It goes out of um, balance a lot faster sometimes. Okay, let's try three and one. Look at that, it's so crazy. Let's try four and two. Let's try if we do like weird stuff, like misplace two and three. There's so many different patterns you can do with this, it's endless. Let's see what happens if we do like one, one, one. Oh, it stops really fast, cancels out pretty quick, and then they merge into. <laughs> Let's try. Oh, yeah, it gets messed up pretty quick if you do them uneven like that. I think it's because the noise in the line, so it doesn't stay as straight. It starts like twisting around. But yeah. All right. 
That's pretty fun. Let's put that back there so it's going to kind of block my flashlight. Let's move that. Okay. And let's do this again. So let's do like a three and a one. You want to try and keep those from moving. Cool. All right. And yep. All right, and that's pretty much it. If you guys uh, like these new and cradle things, um, yeah, they have them on Amazon. Pretty good deal. I think I'll get bored of it soon. The clacking actually makes um, inside my head, it's like almost like you can feel your heartbeat kind of feeling. Um, so I'm most likely gonna return it. It's nice if you like this, um, but it's kind of more, I kind of wanted to see and do some experiments but it looks like i'm gonna end up returning it um, but yeah there's a really nice noon's cradle i've looked at a bunch of other ones and this one appeared to be the best so if you guys are curious i'll put a link in the description below and you can order one but um yep that's all there is i'll see you guys later